Hi, I'm Scott from RedmondPhysicsTutoring.com, and in this video I will show you how to get the XT and AT graphs for a given VT graph. What does that mean? Well, here's an example from an actual quiz that I gave to my students a few years ago. There was about a minute of nervous silence before I admitted that this quiz was indeed fake. They had to treat it like a real quiz, but it wasn't graded. The problem is to use the velocity time, VT graph, to create position time, XT, and acceleration time, AT graphs. This is much easier when the graphs are laid out on top of each other with a grid. If you're struggling with these problems, you should really practice using graph paper to make it easier. The problem tells me that x equals 3 when t equals 0, so I can plot that right away. I'll also draw the time and position axes. Next, we need to find the area under the vt curve to get the displacement, delta x, for the xt graph. Remember, to go from vt to xt, or from at to vt, we need to find the area. When you're starting, just do one second at a time. For the first second, the area between the time axis and the curve works out to this rectangle with a base of one second, a height of two meters per second, and an area of two meters. One second times two meters per second equals two meters. This gives delta x for the xt graph, so I add two meters to my position at t equals zero, giving a position of five meters at t equals one second. For the next second, I again have an area of 2 meters, so I add 2 more meters to my position at 1 second to get x equals 7 meters at 2 seconds. From 2 to 3 seconds, the velocity goes from 2 meters per second down to 0, and the area is a triangle, so I take the base, 1 second, times height, 2 meters per second, divided by 2 to get an area of 1 meter. Adding 1 meter to my position at 2 seconds gives 8 meters at 3 seconds. Notice that each time the displacement is added to the previous position. From 3 to 4 seconds, the velocity drops below 0. The base is again 1 second, but this time the height is negative 2 meters per second. Multiply those together and divide by 2, because it's a triangle, and you'll get a displacement of negative 1 meter. Adding negative 1 to 8 meters gives x equals 7 meters at 4 seconds. This area is negative because it's below the time axis. When you get the hang of it, you can take a bigger area. Going from 4 to 6 seconds gives a base of 2 seconds and a height of negative 2 meters per second for an area of negative 4 meters. Adding negative 4 meters to 7 meters gives x equals 3 meters at 6 seconds. From 6 to 8 seconds there's another triangle with a base of 2 seconds and a height of negative 2 meters per second for an area, base times height divided by 2, of negative 2 meters. Adding negative 2 meters to 3 meters gives x equals 1 meter at t equals 8 seconds. From 8 to 10 seconds, the area of the VT graph is 0 because the height is 0, so the position at 10 seconds is the same as at 8 seconds, 1 meter. This makes sense. When the velocity is 0, there's no change in position. Now we have the points and just need to connect the dots, but I need to clearly show which segments are straight and which are parabolic. When the velocity is constant, the XT graph should have a straight line. Here, the velocity is constant from 0 to 2 seconds, from 4 to 6 seconds, and from 8 to 10 seconds. When the velocity is changing linearly, the xt graph should be parabolic. Also, the slope of the xt graph should match the value of the vt graph. The vt graph is 0 at 3 seconds, so the xt graph should be horizontal with a slope of 0 at 3 seconds. This helps me plot the xt curve in the right direction. The vt graph is also 0 from 8 to 10 seconds, so the xt graph should also be horizontal at the same time. Sometimes it's hard to tell from your drawing which parts are straight and which are parabolic, especially when your drawing is very small. To get the most marks on your quiz, you can label them like this. The second part of this problem is to find the at graph. The slope of the vt graph gives the value of the at graph, so this is much faster to solve. From 0 to 2 seconds, the slope of the vt graph is 0, so I plot the value of the at graph as 0 for the same time frame. From 2 to 4 seconds, the slope of the vt graph is negative 2 meters per second per second. The velocity drops 2 meters per second for each second of time that passes. So I plot the at graph as negative 2 meters per second squared from 2 to 4 seconds. From 4 to 6 seconds, the vt slope is 0, so the at graph value is 0. From 6 to 8 seconds, the vt slope is positive 1 meters per second per second, so the at graph value is also positive 1 meters per second squared. From 8 to 10 seconds, the vt slope is 0 yet again, so the at graph is also 0. And that's it! Remember that area gives displacement, one chunk at a time, and slope gives value, and ace this problem on your next exam. 
I'm Scott Redmond, and I help students pass physics. If you found this video helpful, please share it with a friend so that they can do better on physics too.